Right then, so as Ant and Deck would say, let's get ready to rumble. So if you go into now the uh, Reaper blank track, that one that you saved earlier, and in this square bit here, cl right click and just select create new track. And if you double click in that bit there, you can name the track. So that's the backing track. We want to add another one, so right click, type in there what we want to call the track. So we've got a vocal one. And then add track again. And this time we'll just call it backing vocals. So you've got three tracks. One for your backing track and two vocal tracks. So we just now, we've got the tracks. They're ready to uh, start putting some stuff in. There. So selecting, select that first track. And then we're going to go up to insert media or insert and insert media which is the first item on the insert drop down and then we'll find that folder we created and we'll take the backing track that we want to use out of there and it's just going to insert itself onto that first track so it, for that to happen you've got to have that first track selected you see it's a different color when you um, when you go to insert and the way you select it is to uh, just click on it click on the track itself in that, that left hand box. So next, this idea of arming the track, so that means we can record on it. You can do that from two places, either there or down by the fader at the bottom of the screen. So once it's armed, that means if we press record, it'll record. We just want to check one thing, that should be set to input one. It will default there, so it should be alright. So now it's it's armed, we know input one's working, we've already set up the, the, the focus right. So at this point we test some levels. And that's sort of uh, going back to your Scarlet and playing around with the um, the level button. It goes, goes green when you've got a signal, goes red when you've got a stronger signal. Might need it up full for this. There you go. And when that's sort of working, you'll see it like this. As I'm using the Scarlet and the microphone, it'll start going uh, up and down. And this is where, so go back to start track, position the marker, the, the cursor back there. Then press record. And there you are, you're away. So that should work fairly much like that. You'll be seeing the wave develop as you go along. When you're ready, just press stop. It asks you if you want to save. Then you say yes. And that's your track recorded. When you're ready, you can disarm the track up there or down there again. Depends where you want. And that means that if you press record again, you won't record over that.